Hey. Hey. Oh, am I glad to see you? Hey, I'm just gonna take off. Where's everybody? Uh, Parker is at a play date. Jack is out with the baby, and I have been shopping for diapers for a 13-pound newborn. Hope you have good news for me. Um. You know what? Actually, I'm thinking maybe this isn't the right time. What? No, 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 no. No, too late for that. What's up? Okay. Honey, you know I love you, but... What? No, don't ever start a sentence like that again. You love me, but what? I've been thinking about Rosanna, okay? And about what she said about you cheating on Jack the night before your wedding. Yeah. Is there something you want to share with me? Like what? Rosanna was so off the mark that she should have been committed, right? I mean, she is just a little vindictive cow because you didn't, you couldn't have slept with anybody the night before your wedding to Jack. Could you? Oh my God. It's true. You did it. Honey, we have been through everything together. We've lied to our men. We, we've lied to our enemies. We, we never lied to each other. So who says I'm lying? Oh. I did it. I did it, and I am. I was wrong. I, I, I regret this more than I have regretted anything ever in my entire life. If I had just come home, if I'd, if I decided to not kill two bottles of champagne, if I decided to go after Jack and, and convince him to change his mind, then I wouldn't have done it. Honey, I wouldn't have made this stupid honey, mistake. Honey, breathe, okay? One night stand, not the end of the world. It could be the end of mine. A one night stand is not just a simple one night stand if it's the night before your wedding. Okay, all right, so you had a little bad timing too, but we'll fix it. We can, we'll fix it. We'll stop Rosanna and we'll keep Jack from knowing the truth behind the rumor. How? You're crafty, cuz. I'm a semi-respectable woman now, so I can cover for you, okay? I just need to know all the details so we can sync up our stories. You think it'll work? I don't know, but it couldn't hurt. Now, I need to know the answer to the big question. Who was the guy? It was Craig, wasn't it? Oh, give me some credit, Molly. No. Was it that cute bartender from the Lakeview? Molly! Did you pick somebody up in a bar? Gross. Hey, easy. Mike and I met in a total dive, but nothing happened that night. No names. That's fine. Okay, all right, no names for now. But we have to get started on an alibi, Carly, and it can't be me because I was busy trying to keep Jack from calling off the wedding. I know. Did I thank you enough for that? Don't you mention it, honey. I owe you that and more for the things you've done to help me out with Mike. Mike, that's what? it. We'll get him to say that he was with you at Monte Carlo. No, no, no. You, you, you're gonna get Mike? Carly, I think it's a really Don't good idea. Don't involve Mike in this, okay? Okay, fine. I mean, it's not like we could get him to lie anyway because he doesn't do that. He wouldn't lie if it was for all the right reasons. There's enough of that going around anyway. Hey, what if you said that you went to my place and just hung out there all night? I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know how much longer I can lie about this. Do you want to stay married? Because unless you're planning on telling Jack the truth, where is Jack, anyway? He's with his psychotic ex-wife. He's with Julia? Yeah. And she rented out my old apartment. Yes. The same place where she abducted him. And we are sitting here whining about you? I mean, I know that I've had my moments of self-absorption, but... Moments. Carly, if my husband went off to go drop in on somebody that did to him what Julia did to him, at the scene of the crime, I would be a lot more worried about my husband than me at the moment. I keep replaying all the horrible things I've said to Jack over the last couple of days. I guess I was so worried about what this was doing to our marriage, I never thought about what it was doing to him. Carly, Julia is the one that has done terrible things to Jack, okay? Like keeping the two of you apart like she's always done. So how do I make it right? Honey, there's a concept here that you haven't fully absorbed yet. You're married now. Oh, I know. Yeah, you know, but you're not feeling it. You and Jack finally have everything you've always wanted, okay? You won. You're here. The ring, the house, joint checking. You're married. And start acting like well, it. I'm, I'm, I'm trying. Okay, well, try harder. Try like your life and your future happiness depend on it, because they do. You know, I hate it when you're right. Molly. 
Do you think that Jake would have forgiven you for something like this? I don't know. Maybe. I mean, as long as it wasn't a friend or anybody he knew. Otherwise, all bets would be off. I gotta get out of here, though, okay, honey? Listen, you have grabbed the brass ring. Don't forget it. Don't let go of it.